everybody, it's Lex from PDQ.com. If you've ever considered mainlining coffee just to stay awake while you do your IT work, you're probably a sysadmin. I'm gonna take you through finding silent parameters for building deployments. Now you notice up on screen here, I've got my new package I'm building. I've got my install step. Now let's go select, you know, I'm just gonna select 7-zip. So the 64-bit version is 7-zip. When you select this install file, this is an EXE, and anytime you do an EXE, you're going to need to provide the silent parameters. If you notice right here on the command line, this is what's actually gonna be run on the machine. If I were to run it the way it is right now, it's gonna run, and you know when it comes up, do you wanna you know, take the defaults, yes, no, whatever, it goes in this um, you know, install folder. That's gonna show up for nobody to see because you're running on different credentials on your end user machine than they're gonna see. And even if you allowed them to see it, would you want them to have to click on it? I wouldn't, that's where silent parameters come into play. So I'll just show you how to find, and this is the same for pretty much anything that you need silent parameters. You're gonna open up Chrome or whatever browser you want, and you wanna go look for silent. Um, boy, you need to learn how to spell silently install 7-zip. Thank goodness it was there, I don't have to type it. Now, again, you want to go to your vendor to get these as the best place for them. So frequently asked questions, 7-zip, you know, you start reading through here, blah, -de blah, blah, blah. Oh, here we go. How can I install 7-zip in silent mode? You'll notice EXE installer, use the front slash capital S parameter. That will take care of the install and taking, making sure there are no questions for anybody so that it'll actually run, again, silently in the background. Now, that was a front slash capital S. Now, you'll notice where I put that on the parameter line right here. It's important that you do that. If I were to do it down here on the custom, look what it does. Kind of locks you out of this. I mean, there's a reason for this. It's rare, but parameters go on the parameters line, and you'll notice anything I put there, it would put, you know, it just depends at the end there. So, in this case, it's a front slash capital S. Um, there you go. That's how you do it. And then, of course, you know, we deploy this out. This is going to run. So, again, uh, Google it. Go to the vendor first. Then you might check with the community after that. So, uh, that's where you get your silent parameters, how to do it. And uh, I'm Lex from Thanks for watching.